Aloha folks, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Mark, Mr. Dividend Investor. In this video, we are going to talk about a dividend company that has been giving dividends for the past 19 years. Um, I don't think many people know about this company, so if you're interested in possibly uh, investing in this company, sit back, enjoy, enjoy it. Please do me a favor, uh, hit up, hit the like button, share if you want to share this to somebody that's probably going to be interested in it. As always, please remember that all of this is not financial advice. I'm just sharing. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, with that said, let's take a look at this company. So the company I'm talking about, it is Rockwell Automation. The ticker symbol is ROK. This is a company that engages in industrial automation and informational services. They do like intelligent devices, software and control. So if you go to their website, uh, you look at the pro products, you can see some of their hardware and then some of their software. So, um, so that's something that uh, you know you want to take a look at. And then they have all these other brands right here, the Allen Bradley and the Factory Top. Now, if we go take a look at some of the uh, top institutional holdings in here, you can see Vanguard, BlackRock, Capital World, World Investors, you got State Street Corporation right here. Uh, they bought some, in, uh, pretty much majority of them bought it in June 29, 2022. You got some Morgan Stanley in here. Now, if we swing really quickly to bar chart, uh, you can see their price target is in the high of 315, the, uh, the mean of 250, and then the low of 180. Uh, based on their analysis, the reading as a hold, you can see three months, pretty much the same It's a hold. Breaking things down, you can see currently it's about three strong sell, four strong buy, one moderate buy, and then eight hold. And pretty much it's the same from the past three months, yeah. Now quickly going to Weevil, you can see based on 27 analysis, the rated as a hold, about 48% says a hold, you got a strong buy of 18%, and then you got like sales and then underperform. Now looking at their price target, similar to Yahoo uh, uh, from the others, you got a high of 300, the average of 243, and then you got low of 200. Uh, let's switch over now to uh, Simply Safe Dividend. So based on Simply Safe Dividend, you got a dividend safety score of 70, which they consider as safe. Uh, your dividend yield for this one is 1.89. Market cap is about 27, which is a large cap. At the time of this video, it's about 236 and 56 cents. Now looking at the key metrics, you can see payout ratio is about 50%, which is low for most companies. During the recession, they've maintained their dividend on the 07 and 09. Um, and then if you look at the dividend growth, the past last 20 years, 8% fast. Last five years, about 8%, which is very fast. And then the latest is 4%, which is slow. And then you can see a great upward trend uh, pretty much starting from like 2010. So from 2010, you can see a really upward trend. And then you can see 12 years consecutive increases, 19 years been out of reduction. Uh, for the payout de details, you can see quarterly in the months of March, June, September, and December. And then you get your payout of $4.48, which brings down to about $1.12 per quarter. Yeah. Now, if we look to the sector PE, you can see 21 is the PE ratio, whereas the industrial is 16. Now looking some of the, right here, the cash payout ratio, 106%. Earnings payout ratio, you can see right here. Now if we go to some of the sales, you can see right here, outstanding million. And then the return on investment capital is 16%. Um, you can see that it had a high of, in 2019, of 52%, and then it's slowly, uh, it's been going down, but it's been steady the past 22 years, so 21, and then this this year. Uh, now look at the return on equity as well. 
Um, now if we swing to simply Wall Street based on their share price and fair value, their fair value rates it at about 260. Currently it's about 236, so they do 9% undervalue. And they did this based on their estimate using their method called the discount cash flow model. Now if we look at the uh, uh, price to earning ratio versus fair value, you can see uh, it's very expensive. There's a 40.8 uh, 40 compared to the estimate of fair value and stuff for 26. And then you got your fair value and your current ASO. Uh, now if we swing to tip ranks, uh, based on their analysis, they rate it as a hold. And then it's a mixture of five buys, five holds, and three sell. Their price target is in the 241, uh, a 1% upside. And then their 12 month forecast rated as a high of 300, 241, and then 180. Now, if we swing and look at some of the analysis forecasts, you can see these guys. Um, some of them are saying 22% upside. You got a buy of 26%. And then you got uh, the other way of downside of sell of uh, 24%. And then you got stuff. So there's some mixture of buy and holds and sell. Uh, now, if we go to the stock analysis, you can see uh, hedge fund holdings have increased. And then your smart score for this one is at five, which is neutral. And you got your uh, blogger sentiment analysis forecast is also hold. Now, if we click on this one, you can see hedge fund increases holdings the last quarter. So it's very positive signal based on 15 activity, 15 hedge funds in the recent quarter. Uh, and then you can see these, uh, some of the hedge fund activities right here. So um, these guys have added Gotham assets and then there's a new and then there's added. Um, all right, now looking at Robinhood uh, for today's performance, it's 0.1. For the week, it's down negative 3%. For the month, it's down negative six. And then for three months, it's up 13%. For the year, it's, it's down negative 27. And then for five years, it's up uh, almost 47%. Now, if we look at some of their Robin Hood's ratings, about 42%, it's pretty much similar. Hold 42% and you got your buy of 38%. And then you can see the rating, uh, the uh, Earnings will be on September, November 1st. So, um, seems to me a pretty solid company. Uh, I think it's, um, you know, it's a great company in my opinion. Um, but um, I would rather um, invest in another company. I think this one's solid. I think based on the, you know, based on the dividend history, I think you know, it's going to hit probably 20 years, 21, and then it's probably continue to be gone. Um, so, uh, can't go wrong with this in my opinion. Uh, but I think in terms of the industrials, there's other ones that I personally prefer. Uh, prefer. Um, but then again, you know, they didn't say the score is pretty great. Uh, solid company in my opinion. So, uh, but is it for me? Um, you know, I would consider it, but um, I think there's other companies that, in my opinion, are more uh, are more my kind of take. Um, I have to probably do more research to fully understand this company a little bit more. Uh, then I'll probably decide whether I want to invest it or not. Uh, all right, guys, that's about it. Um, if you have any chance, just go and take a look at other videos as well. Uh, as always, please remember, uh, stay cool, keep investing, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, right? Take care. Aloha.